in this box right here is a beautiful shark that we are finally adding to the giant saltwater pond. We have a big surprise for you guys today. We've always wanted to add a shark to the saltwater pond and today is the day, ladies and gentlemen, where we are officially adding our first, our first shark to the big saltwater pond and we are so stoked about it. Hopefully, after we see him doing well and he's thriving in there, we can go for bigger, badder, and better sharks once we know that we can definitely handle one of these dudes. So let's get right into the video. We gotta feed these big boys because we don't want pots or pans to suck this shark down and then we'll get our brand new shark in the saltwater pond. Make him work Whoa. for it. I'm gonna make him work oh, for this one. Whoa! Whoa! That was epic. We need some more predators in here, guys. I'm talking sharks. Hans didn't want to eat today. He was in the corner sulking over there because he was scared that we opened the garage. But because he heard Pots eating, he gets jealous, like Jack said. He gets jealous and he has to come stuff his face. Dude, look at these two literally staying on the rocks. Here he comes. This is a whole fillet. Oh! Oh my god. Dude, he, I, I'm telling you, Brooke, he didn't even he didn't even care to eat this morning. Until Pots 2.0 ate, or Pans, I mixed them up, he Pots. got he got jealous. They have eaten two fillets a day for the last, over two fillets a day for the last three days. This is the third day. Give him more. I'm a little worried. Pots is gonna get bigger than pans. Oh my god. That fish right there, the fish that's half the size of pans, I guarantee ah! Whoa! Oh my god! Almost just lost my arm. <laughs> Freaking beast. This is the ghost. This is the Undertaker. That's his, that's his name. He's the Undertaker. Because this guy literally died in our last video <laughs> and came died. back to life, dude. He was in Pans' stomach and Pans coughed him up. Roll the video over this. Good Take shot. Good shot. Oh my god, the grouper ate him. The grouper just ate the eel. He spit it out, he spit it out. He spit it out. <laughs> Holy you shit. You guys? He's literally inside of Pan's, Pan's stomach and gets yet spit he'll, back up. Yet he'll still do it again. He's yep. like, doesn't even care. He's just right back. <laughs> Not a care in the world. So dumb. Whoa. Now you guys don't realize how sharp these grouper's teeth are. If you can zoom in on their mouth, it's like a bunch of little razors all so in their sharp. mouth. Like it's actually crazy sharp. That's why. I hold the tilapia higher out of the water than usual because this guy actually bites my hand. That'll give me a, a nice a nice battle scar there. We're gonna okay. try to feed the panda group. You go distract. I have to try to distract pots and pans because they are savages. So I'm gonna distract him with this nice juicy filet here. Here we go. Guys, this guy, he's doing so well in this pond. Oh my God. Wow. He just ate it? He just literally sucked it straight off the stick. I don't even know if I was even ready for that. Give me another. That was a good piece. I don't know if he's gonna eat again. He literally just came off the rocks and ate. But these big guys, they don't like when Mr. Panther Grouper gets some, so. They don't so. like when anybody gets some. Yeah, them. like literally, Pans was pissed that Pots was eating. You gotta get this piece. Yeah, yeah, could have called that. Oh God, it fell off. He's such a, God. God darn it. No, he got a good piece. He got a good piece, and look, he's not even out right now. So guys, uh, in the next five months of us having this pond, I can guarantee you Pots, Dwarfs pants. I'm telling you that right now. He's gonna be bigger than pants. Easily. No! The freaking grunts, dude! He's might steal it from him. Go get it, go get it, go get, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, dude. Get it, dude. Get it, dude. Oh, come on. It. All right, Panther Gruber, this is your time to shine, buddy. You got nobody around. You got nobody around. There he goes. Sucked it right off. There's the green and more ale. Here comes the freaking other group right here. It's so good to see these guys eating. Oh my God, he's charging me. He was just charging me. Did that fish, I promise you, I've heard stories of people getting bit by those. You're toasted. Especially one that size, its teeth are extra sharp because it hasn't gone through the years of eating God knows what, but it would you would be straight to the hospital stitches. One of the neighbors here told us a story about when she was diving, the dive instructor said, what are you doing? Get away from that giant green moray eel because it'll literally take you by your leg, your arm, your head, whatever, and just pull you in the hole and then, you know what, good riddance. So, these fish are all fed. Everybody seems to be extremely happy. Look at them. And uh, I think we're gonna show you guys what we got for the pond today. Oh now, baby. Now guys, this is not the biggest shark in the world, but we do have more of these guys at home in our tanks. So we're thinking, we saw this guy at the store. He's the biggest one we've seen. So we're just gonna get him. And hopefully if he does good, we can transfer those guys into the pond. And then we can get some free swimmers black tips and hound sharks, that'd be pretty cool. Now before we add this shark, the first shark ever to the pond, don't forget to head over to fishguy.shop, get yourself something nice. Treat yourself, this is your sign to treat yourself. I we got this. that brand this new hat, hat, these hats available, cut the plastic, respect the reef, we got so much available on the site right now. Head over there, every item sold on the site removes trash from the ocean. 
Without further ado, let's, get let's go ahead and get the shark inside. Now, you know what's just as important as going to fish on a chop? What? The A word. A a a a acclimation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Acclimation, guys. Especially with sharks. They're very delicate. Here he goes, guys. Going in the pond. Or in the uh, acclimation in the bin. <laughs> Look at that. Beast. Now, guys, he's probably just as big as the big one we have in our tank. He's probably, I don't know, 15 inch right than there. The yeah, he's bigger, he's longer than the panther grouper is, so he should do good in here. And he already looks extremely cool. I love uh, yeah. these guys so much. Better color than the one at home. This guy's dark. Yeah. It's got like rich color. And the he's other gonna stay dark dull. in there because, you know, he's got a lot of room, a lot of, lot of shadows, a lot of big rocks to hide in. And we wanted to start with the bamboo shark because it's the first shark going in here. So we wanna make sure that he does well and then we can go on to more advanced sharks and get those free swimmers. If you guys want us to get a baby black tip as our next shark, just let us know by dropping a like on this video. And also guys, we need some epic names for our first shark going in the pond. So drop those names down in the comments. All right, it's time to put this shark in, the first ever shark to the pond. They're only gonna get better and better from here. And uh, I got high hopes for him. I think he's gonna do really well. I got high, high hopes for him. Hopes for baby for a shark. Three, two, one, into the pond. He's gonna come out, there he is. There he is. Watch out, watch out, watch out. He's Whoa. going down. He looks good. He's going straight to the rocks, baby. That's going to be wh really where he's going to be living. It's inside the rocks, inside the cinder blocks. And you know what? Everything is fed. Nobody's aggressive right now. This is the perfect time to add him to the pond. And I think he's going to look really good and do really, really well. If you guys want us to transfer the sharks that are back home into our pond here, I think we should do it. We could have like a shark farm inside here. It'd be epic. That would be sick. Uh, he went right to the rocks. He went right to the rocks. He's already wedged in there. He's gonna thrive. He's gonna be a feeding stick machine. <laughs> like he's literally put the feeding stick in, boom, he's gonna eat. He's gonna be awesome. Shark's looking fantastic in there. I'm pumped about it. I really think we should transfer the other shark. I think so. we should too. We should just put them all in the big saltwater pond. It'll let them thrive so in here. So good. Be one big shark happy family. Yeah. Wait till Sponge, guys. By the way, Sponge gets 18 inches and he's only four and he's already eating fish for like a foot long. So uh, Sponge will probably swallow pans. Pans. Yeah. Literally, literally. whole. So we're gonna try to move the uh, sharks over. If you guys want us to, drop a like. If you guys think we should do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.